In this video, we'll show you how to create, open, and work with your own shape libraries. Create Libraries There are two ways you can create a new library in Draw.io for Confluence Cloud. To create a new library, click on File and then on New Library. First, let's create a library in the browser. Enter a name for the library. You can add shapes to your library in many different ways via drag and drop, or via the import button. If you want to add an image attachment from your current Confluence page, or use another URL, click on Add Image URL. You can add images in various formats, including SVGs. Save the library, and you'll see it appear in the panel on the left-hand side. This library will be reopened the next time you open a Draw.io diagram in the same browser. Note that libraries created and stored in the browser use cookies. If you clear the cookies in the browser, your browser shape libraries will also be cleared. Open Libraries There are several ways you can open an existing library in Draw.io for Confluence Cloud. Therefore, click on File and then on Open Library From. Click on Browser to see all of the shape libraries you created and saved using this option. Note that you can only open the libraries you created in this browser. No one else has access to these shape libraries. If you want to open an existing library from your device, click Device. In the File Selection dialog, select your shape library's XML file and click on Open. You can create shape libraries and make them available to all users in your Confluence Cloud system. To open a library from your Confluence Cloud instance, click on Open Library From, then on Confluence Cloud. You'll see all the shape libraries that have been added to the Draw.io app configuration by your administrator. Click on the checkbox next to one or more libraries, then click on OK. The custom library is now open in the panel on the left-hand side. You'll need administrator permissions to make the libraries available for the users. Let's explain this step by step. To add a library to Confluence Cloud, go to Confluence, Settings, Draw I.O. Configuration. Click on the Custom Libraries tab, then on the Add Library button. Upload the XML file of your custom library. Work with your custom libraries. To edit the library, click on the pencil icon next to the library name. Now you can rename the library, rename the shapes, add new shapes and images, delete shapes, then click Save. You can also add a shape or a selection of shapes directly to your library from the drawing area. Select the shapes you want to add then click on the plus icon next to the library name you want to add them to. Alternatively, once you have selected the shapes, drag them from the drawing area into your custom library. Click on the small cross next to the pencil icon to close the library and remove it from the left panel. The shape library isn't deleted. You can open it again at any time as explained before. Scratch Pad the Scratchpad is a temporary shape library where you can store your most commonly used shapes or groups of shapes. Click on View, Scratchpad to display it. The Scratchpad works exactly like a shape library stored in the browser. When you clear your browser cookies, the shapes in the Scratchpad will be deleted. If you want to save the Scratchpad as a custom library, click on the pencil icon, then on the Export button and save the XML file to your device. Hide the scratch pad again by clicking on the small cross icon next to its name. 